Dew point is a temperature at which air with a specific mixing ratio would reach saturation. If you know dew point, you know the mixing ratio of air, which is to say, you know how much water is in the air. The question is often, how close is the air temperature to reaching saturation? Let's look at an example. If St. Paul, Minnesota's temperature is 5 degrees Celsius with a mixing ratio of 2 grams of water per kilogram of air, what is its dew point? Or in other words, at what temperature would air with a mixing ratio of 2 grams of water per kilogram of air need to drop in order for that air to become saturated? To answer that question, we're again looking at Table 4.1. This time, though, we're going to start on the right-hand side because what we're worried about, or what we're concerned with, rather, when we're talking about dew point, is the saturation point of air. So we're already interested in saturation. So if we look on the right-hand column and we find the number 2, we just need to look over to the left to find that temperature at which that amount of water saturates the air. And that's our dew point. Essentially what we're saying is, if you drop the temperature of the air from the 5 degrees Celsius that it was at down to minus 10 degrees Celsius, that amount of water would essentially saturate the air, right? Because you'll decrease the capacity of air to hold water. If Salem's dew point is 5 degrees Celsius, or about 41 degrees Fahrenheit, how much water is in the air? Well, we can say this in slightly differently. What amount of water, the mixing ratio, would saturate air at a temperature of 5 degrees Celsius? This is a little more straightforward. So we look again at the, at the table. This time we look at the left-hand side because we're already told what the temperature, dew point temperature is. So we just want to know how much water that represents. So when we look and find the 5 degrees Celsius or 41 degree Fahrenheit row, we look over to the right and we see that at that temperature, 5 grams of water per kilogram of air would saturate the air. So we say that that's how much water is in the air if we know or we're told that that's what the dew point is for Salem. It doesn't necessarily tell us what the temperature is of the air. It just tells us what the dew point is. If Salem's dew point is 5 degrees Celsius and the air temperature is 25 degrees Celsius, what is the relative humidity? Okay, now, in this case, we're being told two different pieces of information. The 5 degrees Celsius, which is the dew point, is telling us how much water is in the air. The air temperature, though, now is 25 degrees Celsius. So in order to figure out the relative humidity, we need to find out how much water the air could hold at that temperature and compare it to how much water is actually in the air. So looking at the table on the left-hand column, we find 25 degrees Celsius, or 77 degrees Fahrenheit, at that temperature, air can hold up to 20 grams of water per kilogram of air. We know that the dew point is 5 degrees Celsius, which means that the air is actually holding 5 grams of water per kilogram of air. So in order to figure out the relative humidity, we take the amount of water in the air, the 5 grams, the mixing ratio, and we divide it by the amount of water the air could hold, or the saturation mixing ratio. So in this case, the 5 grams, which was given to us by the dew point, divided by 20 grams, which is the capacity of the air, uh, gives us 0.25, which we can then convert to 25%, so we have the relative humidity of the air. Now, if Salem's air temperature drops to 15 degrees Celsius, does the dew point change? What about the relative humidity? Well, the dew point doesn't change, because we're only changing the temperature. Again, re recall that the dew point just tells us how much water is in the air because and, and, and what that means then is if you know how much water is in the air you can figure out at what point that water will need to drop out of the air at what point the air will become saturated um, given a certain temperature but when we have the temperature of the air and we know the dew point we can figure out the relative humidity so at 15 degrees celsius which is what we're assuming the air dropped to in terms of air temperature air would be saturated at 10 grams of water per kilogram of air. And again, that's being drawn from the table again, 15 degrees Celsius, 10 grams per kilogram. Now, if the air actually has 5 grams per kilogram, then again, what we do is we divide. 
we take the amount of water that's in the air, 5 grams, and we divide it by the amount of water the air could hold, which is going to give us 0.5 or 50 percent. And so here, once again, what we're seeing is a principle that air's capacity to hold water is dependent on temperature. If the temperature declines, then its capacity to hold water declines and the relative humidity rises, assuming the there's no addition or subtraction of water. Conversely, if the air temperature rises, then the air's capacity to hold water increases and the relative humidity drops. But dew point, again, just to finish the point, is showing us or telling us what the actual amount of water is in the air or the mixing ratio.